Hey Outlaw fans, welcome back. Matt here with another video. After our test on the dirt track, we encountered a few problems with the Crown Vic. So this video is me addressing those issues, getting the car ready to race again. Got a new sponsor on board. Shout out some merch. A bunch of us racers get together in town and take the cars out for a day to get the public interested. Enjoy the video. So for those of you who follow the channel, I have been titling some of the YouTube videos references to Days of Thunder, and I've also been saying some of the references, so here we go. This is going to be the start of this next video, all right? Remember the movie? Wait a minute. This is not the kind of answer I was looking for from you. Oh, no. Six months of building a car. You take it on dirt one time, stuff starts falling apart. And the radiator decided not to hold water anymore. Uh, I guess we're gonna have to pull this assembly out and get a radiator. <sighs> the new Roadhouse movie with Jake Gyllenhaal. Ooh, check it out. Okay, so. Da -da -da -da! Apparently you can get them from O'Reilly's aftermarket. Problems right down there in that corner ish. It's been raining all day long. But our pond's looking good. We're gonna take all that stuff off and put it on the new one. That is a broke wheel stud on one of my one inch lug nuts. The other night at Midway, Dusty thought that one felt weird. We went on there, it didn't cross thread or anything, but it went on fine, it would not come back off. That's what we got. And all I've done so far, I pinched off the brake line, took it off, took the caliper off, the brake pads off, and then the bracket for the caliper off. That went together nicely. I ended up finding out there's a little hole in the bottom of that spindle thing where you can drive one of those studs out. You could honestly probably do it just like that. If you rolled the tire the right way, I think you could drive it out just like that without taking anything off, not even the wheel. I think this should be my last day working on the race car before our first race. We gotta set tire pressures for the track. We have to bleed the brakes. We have to check all the fluids, bolt check the front end, and the new electric sticker. I want to welcome Ammon Electric on board. This is actually Cassidy's stepdad, Jim Ammon. He owns this company based out of Springfield Republic area. So something, yeah, that's a good looking hoodie. <laughs> I wanted to be twinning. You guys can get yourself, not these hoodies, but you can get yourself this shirt at MissouriPublicHunter.com. If you guys are into cars, which if you watch this video, I assume you are into cars, check out our other channel. It's Missouri Public Hunter on YouTube. This is a 72 Chevelle. I'm turning it, in, turning it into a 70 Chevelle. There's a video on the other channel where I load this car up and bring it home and we set it here and tarp it up and I talk about it a little bit. If you're a race car person, you know there's 28 million. 
you're a race car person, there's 28 million ways to put stickers or decals on a car. Pull this down. <gasps> It's a lacquer thinner, babe. It's oh, terrible for you. <laughs> God, it smells so good. <laughs> Freaking redneck girls, bro. I feel like we're gonna mess this up. Okay. Now, drag it back to you. We should have had some. It's pretty dang. It does look like it went there. It like, like it's that was planned out. <laughs> this. Go. Pump, pump, run, hold it, then you. That's what you're gonna do, babe. Gonna I'm not gonna win. You are too gonna win. There is no way. You taught me well. That hurts. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Oh. oh, that's a good one. Is it? Ah, come yeah. on. The weekend before opening weekend at I-44 and a bunch of us got our cars out here in town and we're gonna go to like Walmart, Lowe's, different places, set the cars out, hand out flyers, talk to the people, just try to create a buzz in the town about it. But we're getting ready to go now. Let's go. Thank you guys. And we're killing them the vibration. I heard one little kid get all excited and yell, I like the green one. That's pretty cool. What's up? Check hey, out like Shane's pants. pants. Look at these pants. pants. Hey, I'm going to have to give these pants for you next weekend. This guy's going big time. Martinsville. Woo I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> it's okay, buddy.